Steve with you. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Mustafa Dexter, how you doing? I'm good. Alhamdulillah, brother. Alhamdulillah. So what is it? It was Dexter prior yes. to being Mustafa. That's correct, yes. Why did you change your name? Well, according to Islam, I wanted a good name. Mm -hmm. So the name I chose was one of the best names. It's one of the names of our beloved prophet, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was called many names, Ahmad, uh, but also Mustafa. Mm -hmm. So in Islam, Mustafa means the chosen one. Mm -hmm. So I believe that Allah chose me to become a Muslim. Yes. So I named myself after that. But you were formerly a former Baptist? Yes. Tell yes. us a little bit about this. Well, uh, former Baptist, uh, you know, growing up, uh, African-American community, born here in America, and... Um, through the years, it, my, my, my parents just brought me up in the church. So it wasn't my choice. It was more of a, a the family upbringing. Mm -hmm. But, you know, even in my early years, I have questions. You know, who do you pray to this time? Because in Christianity, it's, you have three. You have the Holy Ghost, you have uh, Isa, uh, Jesus, and you have God. But, uh, you know, the question always in my mind, who do you pray to? So... Alhamdulillah, over the years, you know, with the growing age and the growing mind, you come to think for yourself and ask the questions. So, uh, years ago, the, the seed, Allah planted that seed in my head to start questioning my belief as a Christian. Mm -hmm. So, um, as, as the years progressed, I, 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 I started to read. I uh, had an opportunity to work with Muslims early in my age. And then, alhamdulillah, you know, the, 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 the seed began, began, began to grow in my heart. Tell us a little bit about the seed, the first initial seed, the first encounter that you had with someone. Because most people, you know, they, they did a, a poll, a ABC did a poll, and now it's gotten, it went from, in 2001, I believe it was like something about 49 or 50 percent. Most people didn't know anything about Islam and, now, and had a, uh, actually a bad image, most of them, because now they haven't had exposure like you did to Muslims. I think it's even dropped to 27% now. So at that time, you know, we can see uh, how you didn't obviously have any exposure. What was it like now that you had this exposure with, first time with a Muslim? And what was your perception of Islam before then? Well, my, my, my perception of Islam uh, growing up again in the African-American community uh, it was always, uh, you know, you get bits and bits and pieces of Islam. It's, 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 it's a sect, it's a religion that's not valid. Uh, they, they don't believe in God. So, you know, even in the secular education, uh, the Islam wasn't talked about in school very much. So, uh, alhamdulillah, you know, my, my first experience was a Muslim. I was, believe it was 18, 19 years old. Uh, I started managing early in my, in, my, in my age. And I remember it was one... One brother named was Elijah, and this brother was one of the most mannerable people I've met in my life. Quiet, calm, well-tempered, well-respected, and I, I, I couldn't but ask him, you know, brother, why do you dress this way? And Elijah, why do you speak this way? He said, I'm Muslim. So he, he started to tell me a little bit about, you know, what, what a Muslim is and what Islam is. Uh, so as the years uh, uh, passed, I lost connection with this brother. But then, alhamdulillah, maybe 10 years later, uh, I came across more Muslims who worked for me over the years. And, uh, and I learned about the fasting and, you know, who, who Allah was. It was the same God that we all worship. And, uh, you know, um, took it from there. Was this complete opposite? I mean, did you, this was back in what year was this? This was maybe 1994. So this is before 9-11? Oh yes. So now 9/11 happens. Where you at? So you're Muslim at that time. I was not a Muslim after 9/11. You oh, so you accepted Islam after 9/11? Yes, after 9/11. Yes. Okay. What were your thoughts after you? You're re researching. You're learning Islam, and then you have something like this. Link. People are trying to link this to Islam. Well, I think life is always fact-based, and and, and and given a point that you know, first when, when 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 you see the media, of course you 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 start to believe what the media puts on at first. Uh, most people do. Uh, but as the facts uh, unfolded and you, you start to learn what may have happened, what, what may not have happened, uh, you, you, you're free to make your own opinion. But when it comes to embracing Islam, once I embraced Islam, I, I, I knew without a, a doubt that Islam preaches peace. Even though there are some misguided people in Islam who, who, who do the opposite of it, I knew in my heart that Islam is a religion of peace.
Well, what do you think when you have, you know, uh, many uh, people out there, they'll say, yeah, these Muslims say that Islam teaches uh, that uh, it's about promotes peace, but they got the peace messed up. It means pieces. Well, I'll say... <laughs> yeah, a peace over here, a peace over there. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's the human nature, unfortunately, and I, I believe may, may Allah guide these brothers and sisters to the, to the straight truth and the right path. I mean, but, yeah. you know, without a doubt, if you look at the history of Islam, Islam was preached by the... By, by the character of the Muslim. It wasn't spread by the sword. That's a fact. That's a fact. And people are coming to get facts here, not fiction. So that's fact. something that people can verify. People you, can verify their own, pick up a book, read about it, don't take my word. Um, you can find this out for yourself. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So tell us more now about your journey. So you end up um, uh, meeting a Muslim, and what was the deciding factor that had you actually accept the, Islam? The, the, the deciding factor is when I, when, when, when I started asking my questions that I always had for myself. You know, how come God, if God was one, how come we have to, you know, believe in three? And who has the final say-so? Because in anything, there has to be one creator who has the final say-so. So I started to read the books. I asked, you know, where can I find out more about Islam, what it preaches, what it is. So I, I, uh, a brother guided me to an Islamic bookstore, north side of Chicago. So I started to read. I remember spending countless hours on weekends, on my days off, uh, researching Islam and what it is. And uh, alhamdulillah, I was convinced there only has to be one God, uh, the one who created the heavens and earth without any help, without any rest. So uh, that, that fact was supplanted in my heart. And alhamdulillah, I decided to accept Islam as my faith. We're going to be right back to get more of your story on The Dean Show with Mustafa, formerly known as Dexter, here on The Dean Show. Don't go anywhere. Jihad, often mistranslated as holy war. The word jihad means to struggle. Islam does not preach violence. It does not preach vicious holy war. It certainly does not condone terror and suicide bombing. Islam preaches compassion, tolerance, and justice. Find the truth about Islam. Call toll-free. 877 why islam back here on the dean show with my brother dexter formerly known as dexter mustafa former baptist so and I'm now welcome. you're actually a community peace activist yes tell us about this alhamdulillah allah provided me with the opportunity to uh tell others about you know my faith and and what it is and what it is not so i i, I regularly meet meet uh non-muslims every friday here in chicago at the muslim community center and we bring, we bring in students and we bring in anyone who wants to know the ins and outs about Islam. So I really tell them what Islam is and what it's not. Uh, there's a lot of controversies, con controversies and, and, and misconceptions about Islam. So uh, now I have the opportunity to tell people exactly what Islam is. Tell us some of the major misconceptions, because you have a lot of experience now in this out, doing this outreach to the not yet Muslims out there and they come in and they ask sometimes really tough questions. Mm -hmm. Some people might be bitter about some things they heard on Fox News mm -hmm. and now they come in and you're speaking to them. What are a few of the really controversial things that people bring up? The, 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 the biggest controversy is, is are, are the killings. Uh, how come, you know, there are many so, so quote unquote senseless killing by Muslims. So I, 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 I tell the people this is a proof, this is a fact, you can research it in our faith that a killing is, 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 a, is a great sin. Killing an a innocent person is a great sin. In our religion, we say, Allah says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, says that if you kill an innocent person, it's like killing all of mankind. Mm -hmm. So as a Muslim, if you accept that, you know that there's something you're not supposed to do. But again, people, they take passages from the Quran and they misinterpret, and they're, 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 they're led astray on the wrong path. Yeah. Uh, tell us now, for these groups that come in, have you actually had some people, you know, come back, accept Islam, you know, because we know Islam is simple, it's rational, it makes sense, and it's the fastest growing religion in the world today. You know, it, it's, Islam is a, is a, I always say, a thinking person religion also, because everything is fact-based. Uh, we have authentic chains of communication uh, where people can actually uh, look up for themselves to, 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 to see the authenticity of things. So a, a lot of the college students are, are thinkers, and a, a lot of them ask questions. They actually ask for a translated copy of the Quran. And alhamdulillah, some people actually came back and accepted the faith. Mm -hmm. well, what, now, let's go back to when you accepted Islam. What did you have to do to become a Muslim? Well, there, there, well, there, there's a open testimony. Uh, it's called, in Islam, it's called the Shahada. So you, first you have to have belief in your heart. 
And the Shahada is when you uh, 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 announce that belief outwardly in front of people. So I, I, I remember coming to the masjid, and uh, subhanAllah, I, uh, I was nervous. Uh, so I remember that night I came out to my grib, and uh, it was a brother who walked outside as I was coming in, and he used to be one of my employees. And he's like, Dexter, what are you doing here? Uh, come to take my shahada. He, alhamdulillah, come on in. So he brought me in to everybody. Everybody was happy to meet me. So I took my shahada in front of everybody. So at, at that point, I, uh, ashhadu Allah, illaha, illallah, allahu wa, ashhadu Allah, inna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasulullah. Open testimony in front of everybody. Uh, so at that point, I had to enter Islam. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. That, I like to compare that, make a contrast that if you were living during the time of Jesus, you would say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad, La ilaha illallah, Isa Rasulullah. There's no deity worthy of worship except the Creator, and Jesus is the Messenger. If you were living during the time yes, of Jesus, yes. if you were living during the time of Moses or That's Abraham, right. you right. would pronounce that I'm not going to worship anything but the Creator, and I'm going to follow that messenger, messenger of that time. That's the last right. messenger today, you said Muhammad Rasulullah. Right. Muhammad is the last and final messenger, so, preaching so the same message as Jesus and all the other messengers. And now, how do you feel? Uh, it's been how many years now? It's been seven years. How is your community, your family, how have they taken this news? Alhamdulillah. My, my family has, you know, they, they, they've been some supportive. Uh, but alhamdulillah, you know, we, we, we grow up and, and, and we, we keep peaceful relations with our family. Uh, because as, in Islam, we can't break the relations, so we have to keep the, the peaceful uh, uh, family relations. Uh, so alhamdulillah, I've been married, my wife is Muslim, so alhamdulillah, I think things are, are good and happy at home. How do you feel when you see your, this way of life maligned, when you, maybe you turn on Fox News and there's this hysteria created around Islam? You know, I, 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 I don't buy into a lot of the media. Again, growing, in, growing up in America, uh, not to say media is bad, but some media is misleading. So, you know, I, I believe that a person should research and you make your own opinion about things. Mm -hmm. So quite naturally in every religion there's people who, who, who are misguided. They follow their own uh, uh, desires and hearts and, and feelings. But Islam, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He sent down the Quran clearly. And verbatim, whatever Allah commands, that's what you should do. It's not about how I feel about something, it's what you should do. So I understand people follow their own thoughts and desires, but that's not the way it's supposed to go in Islam. Before we go to break, what would you do and say to, let's say, a politician or somebody, you know, you had something recently where a politician was saying, basically making Islam to be out the enemy. So what would you say now, if you had an opportunity to talk to one of these politicians, what would you tell them uh, about now their statements because they came in, would you invite them to come to the mosque? And what would you say to someone like that who tried to make your religion out to be a religion of terror or violence? SubhanAllah. I, I would invite whoever has any questions about Islam. Let's sit, let's sit down, let's have a dialogue, let's talk about it. At the same time, the Quran and Sunnah is there. Read for yourself. Uh, our Quran, since the time it was revealed uh, from Allah to uh, uh, Gabriel, alayhi salam, to our Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi salam, it, it hasn't been changed. So I would tell that politician to read for yourself and compare it to what you see from people to what the religion says. It's quite clear. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back to wrap up Dexter Mustafa's story here on The Dean Show. Don't go anywhere. Do you worship Jesus? No, you don't worship Jesus. Do you wor we worship the God of Jesus. You, are, you worship the God of Jesus, the one who Jesus fell on his face and prayed to? Yes. That's who we worship. Now, do we only believe in Muhammad? No, we believe in all the prophets, starting from the first man created. From Adam to Abraham, the son Jacob, and the tribe of Moses and Jesus. The, the last prophet was only Muhammad's son, peace be upon him. So we believe in all those messengers. You yes. mentioned, who you mentioned? We, we believe, and there's many more, so we believe in all of them. All of them? Yes. All the ones that are mentioned in the Quran? And all of them, the, the, all of them that you know, you, you don't worship them, but you, you worship Allah, who's the creator of them. But it's part of the belief to believe in these messengers. Yes. You, you name like Jesus. You one believe of, in them, but you don't worship them. Don't worship them. Yes. Back here on The Dean Show, and we're getting Dexter's story. Changed his name to Mustafa, uh, really uh, uh, wonderful name. Uh, tell us now, we know that it's very easy to comprehend Islam. Yes. 
you read, the evidence is there. It's not calling you to blind faith. Everything is there laid out. It's a blueprint, how to live your life, the meaning of life, the purpose of life, based on proof and evidence. But now it takes some struggle. It, you got commitment. You got to start praying five times a day, fasting, yes, establishing the five pillars, yes. being kind, being charitable, all these things that maybe people weren't doing before. And now you got to live by this. How's that been? Well, in Islam is, I, I take Islam day by day. Um, we, we, we have to pray five times a day. We have to give our rights to everybody um, to have true tongue, which means doesn't lie. Uh, we give charity. So you, you, you really have to work at this. It's not you, you, you accept Islam and everything is easy for you. I believe Allah says in the Quran, just, be say you, just because you say you believe doesn't mean you won't be tested. That's super nice, yeah. What this means is that Islam is a struggle and we have to, we have to put forth effort uh, to stay upon the right path on our faith. So Islam for me is day by day, prayer by prayer. And we try to do the best we can as Muslim. Dexter, tell us now. In contrast to Christianity, the former religion you were a part of, when you make a mistake now, you got to go through Jesus, for instance. This mighty messenger that no Muslim is a Muslim, obviously, if we don't love and revere Jesus, but we don't take him as God, son of God. He's a messenger. God is God. How did you repent before, and how do you, if you make a mistake now, what do you do for your sins? Well, you, 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 the, in Christianity, you, 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 repent, you, you repent it in the name of Jesus to God. And being a former Christian, that was always my struggle. Why would you have to go through somebody to talk to God? But Islam makes it clear. You go right to Allah, to God. And so the connect between the creator and the creation is, 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 is uninterrupted. So you repent directly to God? Directly to God. Now, we use these interchangeably. You say Allah, God, this is God. God, Allah, is the same God, Allah, who was from Adam, alayhi salam, Adam, Adam and Eve, as people say, or Moses, or Ibrahim, Abraham, uh, to Isa, Jesus. Now we have Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi salam. Same God. Did this fit? Does this make sense that now, it, did this take you out of a land of confusion to a it, land it, it made of simplicity? Everything, it made everything clear. When, when you understand that the, the, the God who created Adam and Eve, and, and Abraham, and Jesus, and Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi salam, so. is the same God, it makes everything unquestionably clear. Beautiful. Now, uh, before we leave, you're also, you've actually taken it to another level. You, we've talked about you being a peace activist, calling people, people peace, calling people to peace, you know, uh, helping in the outreach of the, uh, to the community, to not Muslims. Uh, what do you have to say to all those that are viewing and they're kind of stuck in the same similar position, that uh, they're confused about this trinity, about God, but they hear a lot of negative things being associated with Islam. What would you say to them? I tell people to, to, to rush, to hurry up, to search out the truth because the reality about life is only temporary. So while we have time, we should make our own mind up with facts. And Islam is a fact-based religion. It dates back to the first messenger, the first creation, which is Adam. And the last ummah, the last uh, uh, um, direct connect uh, book from Allah, from God to mankind was the Quran. So we, 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 we should see as a human what, what was the last thing that God had to say to us directly. So I would rush. I encourage everybody to rush to find the truth for themselves. Definitely. That's what the intelligent mind should do, right? That's what the intelligent mind should do. And you know, when you pray, pray right to God. No middleman, no concession, just right from you to your creator. Beautiful advice. Thank you so much for being with us. We started with peace, and we end with peace. Peace be with you. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. And thank you for tuning in. Like I said in the beginning, this show is about facts, not fiction. People who have shared their life stories with us, who've come from other religions, and why would they come to this religion? And why would it be the fastest growing religion in the world with the whole world up against it? If it was a religion, a way of life of terror, a barbaric religion, Islam is definitely a way of life that brings peace and contentment to your soul, to your heart, and connects you with the one who created the heart. And I can sit here and talk until I'm blue in the face, but you, if you're sincere and you want to know the truth, you're going to be the one who's going to have to search it out, who's going to have to sincerely ask the one who created creation, the one creator, to guide you to it and continue to come back here every week to the Dean Show. And I'm sure if you're sincere and you wanted to know the truth, this made sense to you. But if you're somebody who just has this prejudice, this racism in the heart, who's just angry with life anyway, I don't know how much is this going to help. But you know what? There's hope for you too. So continue to tune in. Follow us on the Facebook, on the Twitter. Subscribe to us. 
here at the Dean Show on our YouTube page and continue to support the program. We'll see you next time. Until then, peace be unto you.